I like to do. I've already like obviously moisturized my face. I love the Dr. Barbara Stern Glow Drops. I also love Barbara Stern Glow Drops. I feel like you could use a little bit of this. This is what it looks like by Tina Cool. And then we're going to play a little makeup. Be a piece of them. This little goo is one of those pimples that hurt really, really well. Like. Dark, dark, dark. Oh, that's not gonna work. Either. Why is it so dark? The sun is just not having its moment right now. Hello, everybody. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long, so this is so weird. I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has reached out to me and with all the love and everything about my foot. And you guys are continuously like DMing me, checking up on me, and like commenting on old videos, checking up on me. And I just wanna say it means so much to me and thank you so much. So I thought I would give you guys a little update. If you're new here, Hello, welcome to my channel, I'm Melissa, and make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my socials. But today we're gonna go do some thrifting, I think. But I wanna just give you guys a quick little rundown about my leg. So obviously, things have been a little bit difficult, making content, taking Instagram photos, just doing everything has just been so much more difficult. Even like Depop photos and stuff, like I can't take them, so I've just been taking them on my mannequin. But, it's okay, we're getting through it. It's been over a month now, officially it's been over a month, and I am now in a boot, which is good. Um, they took the cast off of me, and I, they said I'll probably be able to walk probably in another one or two weeks-ish, um, which is good. So that will be like the six week mark. I think I, I got my boot like a week ago, so it might only be another week until I can walk, but I don't wanna push it too much because it obviously is broken. I broke my foot in Europe, and that's why I'm home. So I'm back home now in the the funny thing is, is that when I got home after breaking my foot, Latvia went into a lockdown. So I would have been stranded doing nothing there because of COVID, I guess. Well, I know it's because of COVID. Um, so they went back into lockdown. So I'm back here, back home for a reason. I mean, maybe everything does happen for a reason because I would have been stuck there, stranded, doing absolutely nothing. Everything's closed down. I would have been so screwed. But they don't have, you didn't have to break my leg to send me home. But yeah, so basically, I'm back at home and uh, I'm trying to make some content for you guys. I have like a scooter. I have a scooter, so hopefully that will help my thrifting today. I'm not really looking to buy too much because honestly, I have so much inventory. I honestly want to do a trip to the thrift in a few weeks. And also, I'm heading to Florida. I have a house in Florida, so I haven't been in two years because of COVID. And my parents and I, were all fully vaxxed and we've all decided that we're going to go to Florida because I haven't been in so long. So I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to film thriftcation and I know that you guys love thriftcation, so I'm really, really pumped about that. So I don't know. I'm probably going for like two or three weeks but there's lots gonna be happening over the next few weeks with content honestly I think I kind of needed this break a little bit because now I'm like hungry to like start creating content and I've been really enjoying editing videos recently so I feel like maybe I needed this little situation to happen just to like pull me away from things and like give me that real break because I really you know have been coasting I feel like I should do a whole podcast episode on this but like I feel like I've just kind of been like coasting like trying to get just get by the last year ish maybe because of covid i don't know but like i just haven't felt like that inspired this is a lot to take in i feel like i'm going like one whole situation to another i wasn't feeling inspired for the last year i guess because we were stuck inside and whatever so i was kind of just like coasting by but like i so i never really got to take that break because it was never really justified to me but with my leg i literally hadn't been able like i can't really do anything like, i can't do any like try on things or like any lookbooks or anything and i'm like i'm like i want to do something like i want to dress up and look cute like this half of my body is cute but the bottom half is like yoga pants for the last from for the last month that's another good thing is that i'm really excited to make some new content for you guys but yeah we're at the thrift store i just took some instagram photos i got this really cute jacket from a vintage store um one of my good friends actually works at a vintage store so she got this for me i love it so much his name was maurice moro moro so shout out moro but this is like a vintage probably like 70s football jacket maybe 80s football jacket 
it, but I love it. I love the colors and stuff. Um, super on trend. So I'll pop up my Instagram photos, but this has been a long little intro. I just thought I would update you guys on my life recently. Um, but without further ado, let's go see what we can find at the thrift. The lighting is just struggling today. Okay, let's go thrifting. I feel like I need to give you guys a kiss. Okay, this is my buggy. She helps me out because this is my boot. I have way too much argyle at home, but this is so cute and it's cropped. Okay, I just saw these Nike shocks and they're actually in pretty good condition. Actually very good condition, to be honest. They're really cool. These always sell really quickly on my Depop because I don't know, any Nike shoe usually sells. I'm also digging these. These are really cool, to be honest. I don't know why I love them so much, but I do. These Zara shoes are so cute, but they're a little bit pricey for Zara. They were probably only like originally 50 bucks, but I love the color. They're really cute. This color, mm, for fall. Okay, I really don't know, but why do I love these so much? They remind me of like, I don't know, like high, some designer, I can't even think. Like, oh my God, guys, look at these chairs. I love. Kind of love it, I'm not gonna lie. It gives me Brighton vibes, which my it's a store my mom used to shop at all the time. And I kind of love it, like 2005 vibes? I don't know, but it's super cute. We're still masked up here in Canada, everybody. But it's really, it's really dead in here and I'm kind of enjoying it. Look at her, she's so cute. I also see this little mini guest bag, but $10. I'll probably leave her behind. There's just so many cute, it's very dead in here today. Another one, look at this jacket. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love the tag in it too. Pizzazz. Yes, please. Okay, I did find a few other sweaters and stuff. I found this Tommy one. And then this with like the sleeves, such a, like oh, so on trend. This like pink reminds me of Lizzie McGuire sweater. And then also this top right here, which sells so quickly on my Depop. And then I also found these really cool pants by No Boundaries. Look at them, they just flare. And I love them so much, super cute. And then I also found this cow clock and a few sunglasses too. And just these little pig earrings. Oh my goodness. Remember how I was telling you how that sweater, that pink sweater that I picked up reminded me of Lizzie McGuire? Well, look at this. Look what I just found. Manifest, manifest, manifest. I also found these really cute pants and this like Tommy sweater. Oh my gosh, everything is just so good. Guys, the little girl section did not do me dirty today. Look at all the things that I found. Look at all these sweaters and this shirt and this one. And oh my goodness. Look at these leg warmers too. I'm obsessed with them. There's so many good things. Okay, but why are these so cool? Look at the wash of them. They flare out. <gasps> I'm in love. I also see some sparkles. What are some sparkles? I love sparkles. Ooh, these are so cute. I kind of love it. Okay, this two piece set is literally so pretty. Oh my goodness. Gotta leave her in the, in the wild though. Same with this dress, look at it. And even this wedding dress, killing the game. Okay, for some reason I lost the footage of me finding this amazing coat, but I also found this coat this day. It's perfect color green, suede with the trim, the fur trim. Oh my God, it's literally everything. So enjoy this photo of it. Having a few glasses of wine, watching a movie, going on TikTok, like whatever it may be. Those things are all completely fine in moderation. And those are all completely fine. Yeah. One step 
forward, two steps backwards, yeah Immature lover who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out, what's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? I just washed my face my hair is so bad it's like day four hair if you have not seen my hair video you have to go check that out because honestly I worked really hard on that <laughs> so go check it out and actually I think that like even if you don't have hair struggles I just honestly like watching like hair time lapses and I literally documented from last January up until now my hair growth so it's kind of fun to watch even if you're not that interested in it but i'm about to do my skincare routine which i feel like i don't talk to you guys about and i was like you know what why don't i just show you guys quickly what i do that honestly i used to have pretty bad acne and my skin's not the best right now to be honest just because i have been a little bit lazy with my broken foot i just finished washing my face so i want to share with you guys what i was using also i started using retinol which broke me out really badly so i'm just chilling on that for a second until my skin gets a little bit more under control and then i'm gonna try to just implement it once a week into my skincare routine because i was doing it like once every like every other day and it was just it started breaking me out so badly and i know that that happens surviving the purge use a pea-sized amount or less start with the lower concentration try the cream first wait 30 minutes before applying buffer with the moisturizer don't use every night once or twice a week with retinol is it literally will break you out um and then you'll see the glow after but i don't really want to go through a purging phase so i'm just trying to not do that but the first thing that i do with my face which is my favorite thing to do is i gua sha um i'm obsessed with it and i think that it has literally changed my face shape to the slightest like not a lot but like i've been doing it for about a month and a half pretty consistently I also have lost probably five to eight pounds in the last month as well from when I broke my foot. I really lost my appetite when I was in Latvia. Um, I actually had an incident and I threw up for like a day, a few days actually. I think it was like two days. And honestly, my appetite just hasn't come back since, so I'm sure it will eventually, but I lost quite a bit of weight. Plus, when I started playing basketball again, I just obviously started getting more in shape and losing weight. So yeah, I just put oil on my face and then I do my little gosha. Just doing it with your fingers is just as good and if not better, in my opinion, for the jaw. I just have this like cluster of acne right here that just will not go away on my chin and obviously I know that's hormonal. <sighs> 
but it was it was a way it was a way and then I started using retinol and it came the heck out so I mean it means probably a good thing but I'm using this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and I think this has helped with a lot of my struggles and then I go in with some hyaluronic acid such a good product not only for your skin but your hair and this Inkyless brand has is so affordable this is also so good for your skin too Hopefully I'll put this on in the morning but since we're here so the retinol like kind of made my skin so dry so the last few the last week or so I stopped with it because honestly I just was like hey I'm gonna do like one I'm gonna start do, to to get back to the retinol once my skin is not so crazy breaking out because honestly I just can't do that right now I just can't I don't feel like breaking out I'd rather just take it slower then go through like a whole entire purge. So if you guys have any recommendations about retinol, do let me know. This is also a life-changing acne product as well. Okay guys, as soon as I used, started using this product, it got rid of all of these bumpies on my skin that you can see in this video. So I highly, highly recommend. So freaking good. But it, now it's like, it's pretty under control. It's just like certain spots, I'll just like break out for a second or so. But like, I used to have like pretty bit bad acne and now it's like pretty under control. Just like this right here right now is just it. Everything else is pretty clear. I just have one pimple here too. And I'll go in with like an eye cream, okay? I'm old now, I'm 25. So eye cream, this is the Coco kind eye cream. I love how it has like this metal on it it just like makes it cooler when it's going on your eye and it just feels so good especially sometimes in the mornings i'll do it too because because it just like wakes you up but they sent me this they sent me a bunch of their products actually and i actually really like quite a few of them and i kind of love i kind of love that it's in a spray that smells so good and then i also I'll put the links to this down below. This is not sponsored at all, um, but I just thought, you know, why not? Let's try this tomorrow. This is um, a daily SPF, which is really interesting. The one that I use is actually this one, which is the Super Goo Glow Screen. It's so funny how much my skincare routine has changed since getting older. Like, I literally use sunscreen and an eye cream since turning 25. Wait, what does it say? Plant derived retinol alternative. Does this mean, what does that mean? Is this retinol? Let's do it. Why not? I have a lot of product. Can I mix it with these ones? Cause sometimes you can't mix acids with certain things, especially not with retinol cause it will burn your skin. Okay, let's try this tomorrow night. I'm gonna try this tomorrow night. You know what? I'm just gonna say fuck it and try it. Cause I'm kind of intrigued now. It's very goopy, very goopy. This actually feels so good on the skin too. And I'm gonna try this again. Cause it's Laneige, Laneige sleep mask. And that's my skincare routine. But okay, it's time for bed. Let's go to sleep. I'll catch you guys in the morning. You wanna take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you liking?